Okay. Grow Renee. Let's just look at the little jungle today. Uh, this jungle, my goodness. I must say. That's that pomegranate. She's growing a little, letting her grow up now. She's getting really tall. I've been trying to um, prune her up instead of out because my yard is not that big as you can see. Um, let's see these to tomatoes in here. The Romas are in there looking pretty good. Finally got me a Roma um, tomato going because I've been trying to get Romas or I've been wanting Romas. And uh, let's see here. It's a big old nice little green pepper here and a couple over there let's see what we have coming through here my little pollinators and uh, let's see i harvested i harvested a lime off of here the other day it was really good very juicy and this is my orange tree. Now, this orange in both the lime and the orange, we're going to transplant to the back. I'm actually going to show you guys the back as well. Those are some more of the cayenne. Now, I came back here the other day, and I, I cut off of this um, Swiss chard. This Swiss chard. That Swiss chard. And they're back again. I love the cut and come again on these greens. I mean, I can get them like year round. Here's this little eggplant. Now, I planted this eggplant a while back ago, and I thought she had died off, and here she is. Uh, let's leave that for the bugs. But yes, there she is. She's finally coming through, and I love how her leaves feel. Finally. These are my strawberries that the bull gave me. They're looking pretty good. They're looking pretty good. Just, you know, they pretty much have acclimated themselves. They're not dead. And so there were actually 24 of them. That's why they look good. I left this cabbage here because I don't know what she gonna do. Well, she looked like she gonna do something. Okay, and then this is some hibiscus. Look at that. I think these produce some of the prettiest, prettiest flowers. I actually want the buds for tea. But I've been letting them go to flower. The basil, she's going to flower too. For her pretty cell. That's some sage that has died down in the scallions right here. But look at this one. This one is a pepper plant. I'm not really sure. I'm so, to be honest with you, um, I had gotten some seeds from Baker Creek and I had planted these in hopes of knowing what it was. See, look at that. That's interesting. Look at that. I don't know what that is. So I don't know, to be honest with you, if, <laughs> if it's a pepper or something. That's a very interesting little pod coming off of there. So I guess I'm just going to have to figure that one out. Um, the sugar cane is getting really tall, but I want to show you what I did to the back as well. If you remember back here, I told you guys I had all this space. And so I decided to, um, okay, I put the black raspberries there. I put my fig there. I put my, um, moringa there. And down here... That's my dwarf orange, if you can see her. I put these bamboos up here because they're going to be a, um, a little bit of privacy here because I have an opening there. So I put the bamboos, and as you can see, I have more bamboos. I'm going to put those bamboos there and um, try to develop some kind of privacy just in that portion. You'll have to wait and see when I'm done. Um, at the base of this wall right here where you see those weeds, I'm going to be planting some 
passion fruit simply because you know the passion fruit grows up and it'll be another form of privacy I'll never be able to get these people out of my yard unless I put up a tarp or something across here um, which I might do um, but this yard here these people behind here oh it's just I don't know but yeah I might put a tarp right here to cover these one two three four five windows here but I can do that but anyway this is what I've done so far um, I just came out here and started dropping these trees and um, I still want to put my cherry tree back here and um, another tree oh the two lemons and the limes I mean should I say the one lemon and the one lime so that's probably what's going to go back over here in this section. And then I'm, from here, I'm just going to start dropping seeds. Um, brassica seeds. Um, well, you name it, I'm just going to start dropping some seeds. But yeah, I think that's some pretty good progress. So having the fig tree out here and the moringa. And the orange tree and my three raspberry bushes. Black raspberry, I think, or just raspberry or blackberry. Blackberry. And there, I put them all in the same vicinity. I hope that's okay. But they seem to have acclimated themselves into their hole as well. So that's what I've done back here. Hey, thanks for coming to my channel. Alright, remember to do your best, be blessed, and grow something. Alright, guys? Cool.